Okay, I was lucky enough, as some of you might know, to score a shitload of these transformers, and I'm talking boxes full of them. Uh, this type and two others, and uh, I have never had a use for them. So um, now it's time to throw all common sense out the window and <clears throat> see if we can make some sort of uh, reactive uh, power generation circuit and uh, use some of these transformers up. They were sent over with the wrong plugs and the supplier said just write them off, keep them, chuck them in the bin, do whatever you like. So I have boxes of them. And this is the inside of the uh, smaller one of the two and of course the third lot are just a step down transformer. But um, some useful parts, diodes, caps, switches um, and of course the selector switch on the multi-tap transformer secondary to give us our different voltages. Now they're not voltage regulated so the more load you put on them the less voltage you get so they're not a real good transformer just an El Cheapo power supply uh, for small crap around the house these ones come with uh, four different pins in the hope that it might fit something you've got at home but uh, anyway no good to us in Australia because uh, the plugs are different and it would cost more to swap the plugs over than it does for the actual transformer which I think retail for about seven bucks so we're going to uh, pull a heap of them apart and just uh, make up some stupid crazy thing that'll probably never work but at least I'll get to use some of the transformers so let's make our reactive power generator okay so here's where we're at at the moment um, we're gonna go Tesla we're gonna put Tesla's name on this because everyone loves putting Tesla's name on their work it's all related to Tesla and uh, gets them some more attention so we're going to be no different and we're going to use this 369 principle we have nine transformers one two three four five six seven eight nine and we have three capacitors so what we're going to do is three of these transformers are going to be tanked six are going to be our output and of course we have nine Tesla's numbers 369 um, so that's what we have so far nine transformers we have a heap of boards um, got some useful parts on them you know switches diodes capacitors they are what are they 25 volt 2200 microfarads come in handy one day um, an on off switch and a multi select switch which of course was hooked up to the multi taps to give you different voltages our caps we are going to be using are these ones here 3 UF 600 volts AC sounds impressive fantastic that's sure to make it work and we of course have a bunch of wire to go with it so let's keep building we're going to mount it all on this pretty little board here and uh, start putting it all together we're going to need a feed transformer I'm simply not going to put mains through this and kill myself so we're going to go around 24 volts so we'll hunt out a transformer to do that job as well and uh, we'll be back once it's all mounted on the board alright here's where we're at at the moment what started off as being an absolutely stupid useless project has actually turned out to be something quite interesting uh, Okay, so we've got all our transformers. Every third one on the secondary side is hooked to these caps, AC caps. Uh, well, they three microfarads each. Um, our cap on our input, our 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor there, which the blue channel is across, the yellow, the yellow channel is across, the uh, transformer itself showing the voltage. Here's our watt meter, our idle current is 29 or our idle power is 29.1 watts that's what we're using at the moment um, these are all hooked in series on the primaries and two 
coils on the secondary are also hooked into series going into here. So you have two, four, six coils and then the other three on the secondary side are going through these caps. And these caps do make a difference. They do drop the power consumption. So um, as you can see our voltage and current at the moment is pretty much well in phase. Um, and we have no load placed on the system yet. 29.9 to 30 watts. So here's the thing that turned out to be pretty funny. We're going to take these LED bulbs here and we're going to plug them in and see what happens. And now we have a disco. And we are now drawing 28.4 watts. So, um, <laughs> not really sure why they're flashing like that. I would think it would have something to do with the circuit inside the LED itself and perhaps the two secondaries um, that are hooked in series on each pair of transformers going to the light is not enough power to get them running full time. Um, but they are building up a charge in the circuit and then bang, letting it all go through. So, uh, oh, and as you can see now, the current is lagging behind the voltage ever so slightly and it's also very messy. So, there you go. The Tesla reactor, that's what we're going to call it. Would be much good for those that have epilepsy, but um, anyway, that's what we've got. Now my camera has gone blurry. Why, I don't know. There we go. The lights are playing havoc with it, it doesn't know what to focus on. So that's where we're at at the moment. Um, as you can see, very bright, bright flashing. Uh, about 30, 29.9, 30 watts. And if I disconnect all our caps from the system. We can see that the voltage and current is still pretty much in phase, so they're not making much of a difference until such time as a load is placed on the device. So there you have it. A silly little project. It turned out to be a disco light. camera definitely doesn't like those flashing lights. Anyway, that's where we're at. Well, it's been fun. Might fool around with it a little bit more, see what we can do with it. Um, We'll stick some incandescent bulbs in there and see what happens. Cheers, guys.